Alright, so I just thought I'd show up a few things. Um, people are really mad at me. I've been expanding too fast. <laughs> oh, this crowd was much bigger. But yeah, these people are pretty pissed. Uh, I've been expanding way too fast. Um, yeah, not enough priests. So everyone, everyone's pretty upset because I don't have a priest to do everything that I need to do. I, sh I really should have expanded a little bit slower, but, you know, whatever. Um, I kind of like forcing them to grow faster than I like, just because it's humorous to me. <laughs> I mean, there's some minor growing pains, but it's nothing. It's nothing you really can't handle. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and send an envoy out to um, Ablika to go ahead and start getting some copper. So, we'll get that going. We also might want to set up a merchant center somewhere in the city. Um, let's go ahead and stick it right here. We don't necessarily need a quay or a um, yeah. Let's do that. Put it right here. We don't necessarily need to put it on the water's edge. Um, we can just set up a barge landing for that. And the barge landings kind of kind of do multiple things. Um, well, for one, they, they allow us to, to transport to transport goods by boat, um, but they also just are just like, like a general purpose dock. So we'll probably go ahead and stick it right here. Something that I didn't cover that I probably should have before is like wherever you see those uh, orange squares that indicates that there's um, well, it's, it's in the water, but... Can I build this here? I think I can. No. Build it here, though. Yeah, so whenever you see those white, like, you know, obviously the orange squares are, oh, it's in the water, but whenever you see those, those yellow squares, it indicates that if it floods, water is going to get there. Yeah, see. Building a barge. Probably should have built that first. But. <laughs> Too late now. So, if we go back, we can see here. So they receive 20 papyrus from us, and they provide us with 15 copper. So it's not, it's not so much a trade route as it is uh, we just give them papyrus, and they give us, they give us copper. So what I'm going to want to do since we're receiving that much, we're gonna go on and go in here and just set aside 20 papyrus for that route. Uh, I'm also gonna to want to set up a drop off point. We're gonna to want to get this guy next. Just you know, start getting the, the trade post because I think this is one of the. Um, yeah, I think this is one of the requirements for the game, but, I mean, again, we really don't have a whole lot of people, so, I mean, oh, we're, we're already in planting season, let's just speed this up. I'll just have this on high speed every time I unpause it. <laughs> that way things are going really fast, and I don't have to wait. But, yeah, so those little yellow squares indicate that if it floods, um, there is the potential for, um, or when it floods, if it if it floods too much, like here, I'll show you, like this this whole area right here. See how it's got this this weird marshy stuff. So we can actually build there. But see how it's got that little yellow that little yellow square inside of it. If it if if it if it like floods too much, if there's like a lot of flood water, instead of just flooding up to like this point in the normal shoreline, it'll actually come up to where that yellow box is. And anything that's built in this area that's not built to withstand flooding, like mostly, basically the merchant quay or the merchant, the merchant center or the the quay as it's called when it's on the water's edge, the shipwright, this guy, and the barge landing are the only ones that are um, set up to receive that kind of stuff. Oh, hey, we got way more graduates now. Cool, I can start setting up priests in other areas of the city.
like I originally wanted to do. Because we got a bunch of bricks. Let's go ahead and get another brick layer. I'm, I'm, I'm only working with like two of them, I think. Yeah, I need way more than that. It'd be nice to get some more farmers here soon. I can go ahead and provide all services of both these priests working in all these areas for now. Uh, we probably don't need a guy over here too. Well, maybe not. I mean, there's not a whole lot of guys over here, so they can they can screw off. They don't get a priest. <laughs> there's only a few of them. Um, man, our food production is really low. Who should I dedicate this one to? Um, Horus? No, let's do Hapai. Alright. So now we got a bunch of food again. Getting this off. Let's go ahead and get this guy coming into the city. As well as. We can do it, but we'd have a deficit of food. I need that food to pay my workers. Um, actually, let's let's go ahead and add another thing to the palace. Let's, let's add some statues. It requires more bricks than food. So something else you can do with the plazas is you can actually place them underneath of the houses because as you can see like right now like just underneath the houses it just looks all like regular ground and it looks kind of gross well, i guess gross is the wrong word but you know what i mean where you at oh you're in the court of law court of law um Yay! Actually, along those same lines. There. That looks nice. Well, that looks weird. Eh, whatever. Um. Food. Um, we should probably start prepping for that. Um, I think two weapons makers. Well, maybe maybe even just one. We can probably get away with just one, but we'll probably double up. I think two of them, just in case. Uh, you know what? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video for a little bit while we get some more stuff built. But I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, if you had to guess, what would that be? a bunch of messy fruit, doesn't it? But surprise, it's copper. <laughs> I don't know why it thinks that's copper, but it's totally not. I mean, it is, but it's not. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're doing we're doing fairly well. Our our palace is getting to a pretty good size. See, here's the here's the statues. We built a, a menagerie, a menagerie for animals. As you can see, there is a, uh, a gazelle in there. It's 
kind of cool. I don't think I've ever actually seen an animal in the menagerie. That's... As you can see, a career in the service of Pharaoh is a very rewarding goal to have. Who are you? I suppose some people You're might think so. Um, this part gets added on once you build enough extra things. This is a granary in case I never pointed it out. Um, what are you short on? Common and luxury wares. Ooh, you're angry. Angry! Uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and build a laborer's camp right here. Because we're gonna start building some bitchin' tombs for Pharaoh. Um. Or at least we will, as soon as we get, you know, do nothing. Uh, if I didn't point it out, there's actually nothing for the overseer to do on this map other than, um, to build stuff. There's there's no there's no mines, there's no quarries, there's nothing. Nothing. So that's a bummer. Um Local barge needed. So that's something else we need to do. We actually need to go ahead and, and um, build the shipwreck. There's there's actually I'm not sure if, if, if I'm just doing it wrong or if there's if it's actually a glitch with the game. But when you build the shipwright and you have cedar for him to use, um, he will just... He, he's supposed to build a barge for each barge landing, I think. I think he's supposed to build, like, one barge that goes back and forth between... Or maybe, maybe it's one barge per barge landing that goes back and forth. But from what I've seen in the game, and actually one sh only one ship is supposed to be able to use a landing at a time. But from what I've seen, that's not the case. Um, so like the shipwright will build one barge, and it'll sail to one of the barge landings and dock, and he'll be like, cool, or whatever, but like it won't register as it being there. So he'll just continuously, he'll just build barges as long as he has cedar. He'll just keep building them. So you'll have like two barge landings, and like... <laughs> 20 barges, it's fucking ridiculous. Maybe not quite 20, but you have quite a bit. So, with that in mind, how much food do we have? Is it still. It's harvest season right now, so we're gonna have to wait. Let's speed this up. As you can see, we have quite a few people over here. Most of them are happy. Our prestige is doing pretty good. It could be doing better, though. Uh, Pharaoh did die. Or, our last Pharaoh died, I should say. So he has been entombed. Pharaoh is buried here. So, that's the last Pharaoh that I want on this map to be buried in a Mastava. So we're going to start building him some pretty bitchin' tombs here in a bit. Or at least we're going to try to. As soon as this food pops. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut this and we'll be back in a bit. I'm, I'm going to get some stuff set up and you'll see. Alright, well, unfortunately, this one has actually gone way over time. I'm going to have to split this into two parts, but you will have known that already because it'll be in two parts by the time this is done. Um, why do these guys always. I always do this. Even though I try really hard to make it that they don't do that. Um. What I was going to do was, so we have these guys set up, we are going to put our next pharaoh into a small pyramid, and it's going to go right here. But to see that built, you're going to have to wait until next time. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching, and join me next time on Immortal Cities, Children of the Nile.